Otro de los supergrupos nacidos en esta ciudad tan importante como es Manchester es el grupo New Order. Con nosotros está el amigo Peter Hook, que es el líder de esta formación. Hello, Peter. Welcome to our program. Thank you. Uh, you have been recently in Spain on tour. What, uh, what do you think about our country? Um, I've been to Spain a few times playing gigs and I've, I've always enjoyed it. It was fine. We did uh, Madrid. We only did one. Mm -hmm. When we were, th that was us with Revenge, which is my new group. When we went with New Order, we did a lot more, which was nice, because you got to travel about Spain. It was nice to see it, rather than just go for a holiday. Mm -hmm. It was nice to work there, to, you know, yeah. sample it differently, if you like. So it was good. I enjoyed it a lot. Like I'd it? like to say hello to uh, Mario <laughs> and Mario. our Spanish record company. Hi, kids. Ah, Spanish record company. Yeah. yeah, we had a very good time. They really looked after us. So it was wow. nice. <laughs> I mean, it's what I feel about life, really. It's not. Life. It doesn't, you know, just go with revenge. It goes with new order and joy division. It goes with everything. That's the end. Uh, the bar, you know, anything. <laughs> you, you name it. Yeah, it's um, just a passion for living, I suppose. Mm -hmm. and which is why I like the, the title. I don't think there's a great deal of difference which sort of upsets some people uh, sometimes. I mean, mm, I don't know, it's very difficult. It's, it's hard to explain. It is different because I'm working with different people, mm -hmm. but there is always a thread. It's like in Joy Division to New Order, there was a thread of Joy Division in New Order. And I like to think there's a thread of New Order in Revenge. It doesn't bother me. I mean, if anything, I'd say it sounds like New Order, but it's different. It's hard to explain, really. It's best left to... Uh, to be able to do New Order LP begins hopefully next April. I think. Yeah, which we hope to finish by towards the end of the year. So if you keep your fingers crossed. I don't really September, maybe. The groups have been that important. So to me, Manchester is the place. It's Manchester that has the scene, that has the buzz about it. And I've always lived here, and I've always worked here, and I've always felt exactly the same. I've always believed in Manchester. And to me, this is just a way of you lot catching up with us. <laughs> you know, it's like people saying, yes, you were right to believe in Manchester. And I don't think that these groups are the best groups to come out of Manchester. And I think there'll be loads more. It's just a healthy place for music, for this kind of scene. It's nice, it's enjoyable. I love it. And do you think it's a good time for the music around the world now? Um, I don't know, really. I, after i just done a tour of Europe, as you said before, and I found that in Europe now, uh, music is becoming very language-based again. You know, there's a lot of European radio stations that are playing solely European music and ignoring British music and I think that's quite a good thing because I think the English have had too much of a monopoly mm -hmm. for too long. It's about time, you know, you sort of countries brought through their own musicians. Mm -hmm. It sort of saddens me to think that you have to speak English to be successful musically. I mean, you know, that's rubbish. It shouldn't it shouldn't be allowed to happen that way. So I'm glad really that it's becoming de English if you like. Mm -hmm. Iggy Pop, Lou Reed, Iggy Pop. Velvet Underground, Stooges and stuff. I'm still an old rocker. And new, uh, new bands? Uh, I don't like a lot of new bands much. I, still, I tend to stick with my favourites, like Go Between, stuff like that. I'm, I'm very, um, very set in my ways, unfortunately. Thank you, Peter, Hook, for, for being here in Top Sur. <laughs> Say something, or, or... Uh, adios, amigos.